Yeah, welcome back. Thank you for switching back to K2K YouTube channel. In the last project, you have made a project which gives an output like this. Let us run. Output which is not good, disorganized, and which has no meaning. But right now, we are going to focus a bit on music notes and fed it in, inside the frequency it means inside the signal gen generator and try to produce a meaningful output as you know each sound note has its own uh, frequency it means from do re mi fa so la ti until you, you get to the seventh music notes and here is the frequency from the first octave, second, last, second, third to the last. So we are going to try to fit this frequency inside the signal generator. It means um, to, to control the signal generator by using the frequency according to the music notes. So and then produce the output which is meaningful and which has the same rhythm according to the program we set so let us try to see some exa uh, some example which may which will help us to get understanding in the program we are going to do first let me minimize this control n to create another sub vi and then left right click and bring graduate bar let me highlight this quick control plus to zoom in and then increase its size to get the reading clear oh nice let me change the properties change properties Appearance. Let me try to check its appearance and then change the field to red. Okay, come here, create Y loop, and here you create a local variable that will enable you just to fill the slide from one one loop to the other it means create a local variable here and then change this variable to write this will give us the ability to take the readings and fill it take the readings in one condition and then fill it to the our slide Let me try to create case structure here. Create the control button here. That will enable us to stop the loop according to the iteration we need. Control plus to zoom in. And then control the case structure by the while loop iteration. Yeah. Suppose that we'll be starting with zero in our slide field. Change this to read to write. And then create a constant here. And of course start with zero, give it a delay of like two seconds, it means two thousand seconds. All right, and then duplicate this case. Suppose that the, our our slide will take like ten seconds to fill itself.
and then stop to 5. And of course, the default reading will, will still be 0. Change the next reading. Yeah, the second reading will be like 14. The last, the third will be 16. The fourth will be 18. And suppose that our slide will be fulfilled at 10th second. And one will be leading like change this variable. right and the ones leading will be sorry the ones reading will be twin at waiting in seconds or also two thousand and see when you try to hit run you see that our slide will automatically feed itself it means it will pass the readings from our case structure back to the to the slide this local variable helps us to take the readings from the case structure and then pass that reading to the slide suppose that we want that our loop we iterate and stops at five time. Come here, bring in incorporate, create constant there, and make it just five. So it will control, it will be stopped when the iteration gets to five, to five times. Join this by here. And then try to run and see that at five, at five time, the iteration will stop. It means the while loop will stop itself. See when I try to hit run, fine you see that our loop stops itself and this techniques is going to be used while we are be we are generating the frequency it means we are going to master the frequency to be passed to the signal generator let me bring back it means this will be deleted and replaced by by this system it means it will be replaced and and once the loop is still iterating it will be passing the reading from the case structure to the signal simulator it means the frequency will be mastered by the case structure so let's move on and do it quickly to generate a meaningful sound meaningful sound will be of course mastered by the frequency generator which is getting the reading from the case structure and flowing each other yeah then here you found that using previous learned techniques i create a local variable and this is the indicator of the frequency and i will be passing the readings of the frequency uh, according to the music notes as we see in the previous learn the techniques we found that the each music note has its own frequency and you will be passing the frequency 
according to we will be passing the music notes using their frequencies means the frequency will be will be gotten from the case structure and then be passed to the signal simulator then these are the seven music notes and their and their frequency then for my for myself i've used the five the fifth octave and then fed each frequency in a case structure see that for default case i will be using 80 18 880 which is the the fifth which is the a in fifth octave and then as the case flow each other i go on modifying their frequency to meet the music notes frequency and when i hit learn the output become like this All right, that the output of our program after playing the frequency of the music notes. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please get subscribe and share the video um, so that you may get the notification of the next video, which is going, which are going to be uploaded. When you hit run again, and we finish up playing the music notes. Yeah, this video was ba was based on the previous made video that you was talking about. The way of generating sound in lab view but in this video it was based on control the way where you produce a sound of the music note so you may go under description below and click on the link there so that you may watch and view that video i hope to be back soon i wish you all good bye